Well, welcome back to part two of our Q&A. So we're going to start with, um, somebody said, how many dogs do you have now? We have seven. I love my dogs. So we've got Lola, who's our Border Collie. Then we've got um, Bluebell, the Frenchie. Ivy, the Frenchie. And Mabel, the Frenchie. And then we've got Cookie, who's a miniature Dash Hound. We've got Minnie, who's a miniature Dash Hound. And we've got Dolly, who's a miniature Dash Hound. And they're all bonkers. Yeah. Well, no, Lola's the chilled yeah, out one. Lola's, She's proper. Lola's a calm one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she just, um, she doesn't tend to socialise with the rest of the dogs. She just like does her own thing, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. Actually. Whereas like the Frenchies, they all kind of hang around together and the Dash Hounds hang around together. It's really weird, mm. isn't it? Yeah, it is. But then, um, but then uh, you sometimes you look out in the garden, they're, just, they're all chasing they're all each other around the garden, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, they're so funny. But, but the Dash Hounds are funny because Cookie and Minnie, like to like give the other dogs like kisses, don't they? It's, it's what were you saying? Yeah, it's Cookie gets a pause, puts yeah. them around like Mabel's face or something, starts giving her kisses and she's licking her face. Like licking her face, so funny. Mm. This is a really funny one. Can Noel remember all his kids' birthdays and the year they were born? No. Yeah, every year since 1989. He, he can't. He no, can't remember. I remember Chris, Sophie, Chloe. Uh, Tilly. Remember Tilly's because I've taken her to the hospital and the doctor's brought that many times, I know that one. Um, that's it. His dad, right, used to have a, he'd done like a, like a, a bit like a spreadsheet kind of type thing, but it had all of the kids' names on it and all of the dates of birth and you used to have that in your wallet mm. and then you lost it. He's got no chance now. I'm, I, do you know, right, this is dad thing. And my, my friend will back me up on this because he's the same. When you go to the doctor's appointments or, or just any kind of appointment and they ask you your child's <laughs> date of birth and you just, they, they must see the colour drain from your face. You know, oh God, I don't know. So that you turn and look at the kids. <laughs> <laughs> When's your birthday? No, no, no. I, I no, think it's a dad thing. It is. is. It, it happens. A dad thing? Probably is a dad thing actually, but I, I mean, I'm really, really, obviously I'm really good with the dates of birth and stuff, but sometimes I do get a bit kind of muzzled up with the year of birth. So somebody's said, what is Ellie doing? Is Amy still at school? If not, what is she doing? So we have um, three of our children are at college at the minute. So let's start with Ellie and Amy. So Ellie does sport, which she's absolutely loving. She's just coming to the end of doing her second year there. And then Amy does hair at college and mm -hmm. she's loving that as well. Um, Actually, so she's just, yeah, and Ellie has just got her results back. Yeah. For, is it for the coursework? Is yeah, it for the coursework. And she's got um, a distinction star, do, which is amazing. Absolutely amazing with it. But I think it helps because she really, really has enjoyed doing it. It wasn't originally the course that she wanted to do. She started off doing health and social and then she just she didn't, like didn't it. really it wasn't like it. It wasn't really it was what she was thinking. Yeah, so then she moved on to doing sport. And she was kind of a bit, mm, not sure I'm going to like this or not. I said, well, just give it a try. I said, you know, you might surprise yourself and really enjoy doing it. She loves it, absolutely mm. loves it. And like I say, has done absolutely fantastic this year. Distinction mm. star. And um, Amy is doing hairdressing at college and she's doing really, really well. She actually cut Josh's hair in college the other day. She, he um, he let her loose, didn't yeah. he? And she's trimmed some of the she's girls' really hair, some of the younger girls yeah. trims that ball. And then she's wanting to dye my hair as well, so I think she's going to be moving on to that. Also, Josh is at college as well, so for anybody that like watched the programme well, back in like... series, wasn't it? Yeah, back in January, February, was it? Yeah. Um, you'll know that Josh is to have like major issues at school. He didn't really like it. It was a nightmare getting up in the morning. So um, we kind of spoke to school about it and decided that actually college would be a really good thing. So Josh has been doing sport in, um, in college and uh, he loves it. He's like a totally different person. He gets up, he goes into college, he's done really, really well. He's gone off doing like mm -hmm. trips with college and it's just, yeah. He, I he, think he's, he's, he's quite totally a few different. times he's been teaching younger kids from another school. Yeah. Like, um, you know, sport and pee and football mm. and things, isn't it? Right, so somebody's put, best buggy or pram you have ever used, there are a lot out there. So, for me, 
for a single pram, I have absolutely loved having the, the egg pram, loved it. That was probably my favourite pram. However, my favourite double pram would definitely be the donkey. I loved it. You weren't that keen on that, were no, you? No, I didn't because like it's it. Quite why it's obviously it's not one in front of the other it's side by side but for me i preferred it because i could have like the seat unit and then the carry cot so it was just i just preferred that mm. and it was such a good pram i had that for like years and i really liked it i just liked the egg one that was yeah my favorite. you really liked that didn't you mm. so somebody said any retirement plans for no or working part-time so we've kind of sort of said about this in another question but no no no, I mean, I did try and take Mondays off, well, not off Mondays, I did try and take a day off a week. Mm. Um, and it was generally a Monday, Yeah, isn't it? but that doesn't work anymore, that's out the window, so... No, I'm, I'm in there every day. Um, just can't even take a day no. off anymore, can you? It's just too busy, but um, it would be nice to be able to just maybe take a day off, though. It would, yeah, I mean, there's times where I've tried to finish a little bit earlier, but it never works out. You know, I yeah, think, right, let me try and finish for like 12 o'clock. No like work, like no. the other day, we had loads of paperwork to get filled in and sent off for something. So you came home to fill all of that in, and you was you weren't I've been home, home. For half an hour. Yeah, and getting a phone call, I had to go back in. So um, on the machines are broke, yeah, so I had to just, go back in. Just doesn't work out like that. So someone said, "How has the pie business been since <clears> Chloe <throat> has returned from maternity leave?" You miss Chloe, didn't you? Uh, yeah, no, we all miss Chloe. Yeah. She was, you know, she's she a great did. person to be around. Um. Just it's fine, yeah, it, it's just working the same as it was when she wasn't here, we just changed our roles around a little bit, mm. I guess. Um, it's quite funny because her role now was going to be, all right, let's start again. Jack is not there at the minute, he's on another job, he's gone to work somewhere else for a few months because um, he can earn a lot of money doing this other job. Then he's coming back, so Chloe would make, it meant Chloe would have to do Jack's job and that's on the pie machines. Anyway, she come in the first day back and says, well, well, you're obviously going to be on pie machine, Chloe, because Jack's not here. Oh, I hate them things. She says, I can do that one that presses out the bottoms, but I can't keep up with the one that puts the lids on. I can't do that one. So that's a job between, sorry, Chloe, myself and Luke, really. All three of us get on that. And when Luke's not packing, he sort of jumps on and helps out. But uh, no, it's fine. We, we all, we it's all, nice to have yeah, back. you know, the, all four of us in there get along and we just... We all know what we're doing, exactly what we're doing, it just works. So somebody said, any news on the motorhome? Yes, we we got the motorhome back, as you probably know, because that vlog went out today, I think. Um, we did, we've, we've now got it back. We thought we weren't going to get it back until kind of the middle of July, mm. but actually we've got it back kind of at the beginning of when we thought they were going to get this yeah. part in. So yeah, all good. So we're now looking forward to maybe getting away um, one weekend, you know? Mm. But it is nice to have her back. Weather depending, isn't it? Yeah. That's the beauty of having a, the motorhome, isn't it? If it's going to be sunny this weekend, you can go and just snow. Yeah. You don't go. Yeah. Somebody's asked, is Alton Towers Hotel worth staying in? Just booked it and now doubting it. Yes, 100%. Yeah, we absolutely great. love Alton Towers Hotel. It's so nice. Um, both the Alton Towers one and the CBeebies one are, are equally just as good. But I think for us, with having like the little ones, the CBeebies one, the kids really enjoy mm. that. I was just going to say that, yeah. There's more going on yeah. in that one, I would have said, in the CBeebies one for the kids. Yeah, a bit more entertainment, yeah. I suppose, isn't there? But yeah, you love it. Definitely made the right choice. We, we really enjoy Alton Towers. Mm. So somebody said, how's Max nowadays? So proud of him. You all are. Always in my thoughts, I love you all. Oh, thank you. Max is doing absolutely amazing. So we were really worried about him starting um, high school. I had many a sleepless nights about that, wondering if he'd settle in, would he get bullied? But he absolutely loves it. He's, he's, um, he's thriving, he's doing really, really well, which is lovely to see. Um, he's got lots of really good friends. So yeah, he's doing absolutely yeah. Brilliant. Still very much into yeah, absolutely no worries and, about him going to things. school or anything. Yes. So somebody has said, "Are you potty training, Heidi?" My daughter was born October 2020, and we haven't. Yes, is the answer to that. Heidi's been potty trained probably for around about six to seven months, mm. maybe. Well, she doesn't use the potty at all, does she? She just takes the off, off to the, the toilet, toilet with a little, little step, step thing. Um, but for me, potty training, every child is different. 
I used to, when my kids were younger, like when we had Chris, Sophie, Chloe, Jack, Daniel, it was always kind of like, right, they get to a certain age, the potty comes out, they have to sit on the potty and we want them out and happy for such an age and it never really worked very well for us. I, I always used to find that you can't push a child into using the potty if they're not ready for it. For me, now I will just, you know, if when they start showing interest in going to the toilet or not having a nappy on, wanting to wear big girl pants um, or big boy pants, I will then get the potty out and then they will kind of lead. I don't do it for a certain age now and I find that for me that definitely is key because like I say, when the kids were younger and the potty used to come out and they used to used to think, oh no, you've cracked it and then they'd go back and mm. it would just be so stressful and now I'm just like, it's best they, to let them, let lead, the them way. lead the way yeah. and it definitely works a lot better. So somebody said, do all the adult kids drive now? So who forgot driver wise? So no, hang on, so we got Chris, no he doesn't drive, no. Sophie can drive, Chloe doesn't mm. drive and she doesn't want to learn either, pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, Jack, Jack can drive, Daniel can drive, Luke, Katie, no. no Luke, no Luke's not bothered either, uh, Katie can drive. Ellie and Amy, they want to start learning yeah. to drive. So we're just waiting on their provisionals yeah. to come back, aren't we? And then they're going to start driving. Jeez. Mm -hmm. I'm I, not learning I think My nerves can't take it. I think uh, myself, Amy would be a bit more chilled. Yeah. Whereas Ellie, I think, would be a bit more, more stressed. Driving. But we'll see. We'll but see. Yeah. Yeah. So somebody said, are you guys doing okay? Negative crap, no doubt takes its toll. <laughs> Keep doing you. Um... Not in, I don't care no. what you say, not bothered, doesn't interest me. I think for us, we just stick to our socials and the comments and, and things on there are really lovely and positive, so thank you guys for that. Yeah, exactly. And we don't kind of, we don't go looking elsewhere for like negative things because at the end of the day, I feel like mentally you're in a much better place to be able to look after your kids and live your life if you're not if you're not surrounded by that kind of negativity. Mm. So for us, no, we just stick to our socials, which are, like I say, lovely. And um, we yeah, thank you Yeah, just all that. positive comments and they're really, really nice, isn't it? So yeah. it's lovely. So somebody said, I'd love to see short interviews with each of the kids if they are up for it. I, I must admit, this is a question that we get asked a lot for, you know, if we would film things like that. And I think, yeah, I think it'd be quite funny. Especially with like the little ones as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, because we could ask them some questions, couldn't we? And just see what they come back with. It'd be yeah. so funny. So I think that's definitely something that we should film. So, yeah. Somebody said, why do you not do as much family on YouTube now? Oh, gosh. I think it's just because we are just so busy. Like with work commitments and just, filming yeah. for a series. Just sometimes it just gets a bit too crazy. And the days where we're not filming you feel like you don't really want to vlog because you feel like you just need a bit of, a rest, need a bit of a rest for the kids as well. So that's why we do try and vlog as much as what we feel like we can. Um, but that's definitely not as much when we are filming because like I say, we just feel like on the days that we're not filming, we just would like chill out. to chill out yeah. really. So I've had this question actually quite a bit on Instagram recently, so I'm, I'm going to answer it. How do you deal with sickness at the beginning of pregnancy? Oh, it's awful. I mean, I, I'm never actually sick, but I feel really, really sick with morning sickness, and it's not nice at all. But I found that eating little and often was key to not feeling sick. Like, if you've got an empty stomach, it's much worse, the morning sickness, than if you've got a little bit in your tummy. So just try and eat little and often, really, and... Um, Ice pops. I was just going to say ice lollies. Ice lollies, they're really good, but definitely little and often. And also, I used to have them little um, travel sickness bands that have like the pressure point on here, and they were really good. So I would definitely recommend them as well. How is the fruit pie business going? Is oh, it? yeah, fruit pies are flying out, to be honest. They, they're a lot more popular than what I thought they would be. Mm. Um, but. Yeah, they're good, what can I say? I really <laughs> wanted to do a rhubarb one though. I know, I know. At the moment we only do apple and cherry, cherry. but we will get some more yeah. fruit pie lines on uh, fairly soon actually. But we, we didn't, the only problem, what I'm annoyed with is we sent them out in some nice, we trialled one sending it out. Yeah. 
and it worked perfectly. So I thought, right, great. And we sent them out again, the same way we packed them in a nice little cardboard box. They look really nice and they were getting their damage. So we're having to refund or resend mm. them out again. So look, we've done away with the box and we've, we've packed them another way now. And they seem to be getting there absolutely fine, which is great. Yeah. Because there's nothing worse than making it, taking all your time and everything and, and then they're getting smashed. Yeah, smashed. It, it, the last thing you want to do is you, you get your pies and you open the box and the, you've been waiting for them. You know, oh, really looking forward to it, and then they're all broken. That's the last thing you want. So, yeah, that 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 was a bit of a downer. But yeah, absolutely flying out. Um, but but definitely need to do rhubarb now. Definitely do rhubarb. Someone said, when did you get another dash hound and what is its name? I mean, we've gone through the dog's names, but basically we got Dolly in December. And um, yeah, she's lovely. I think out of our three dash hounds, Dolly's the more placid one, isn't she? Yeah, I think say? she's probably gonna be the smallest as well, to be mm. honest. She's quite chunky, but she's not very long compared yeah. to Cookie and Minnie. But she's still in like eight months, so she's still got a bit of growing to do. So someone said, would you ever go to Greece? Most definitely. Um, yeah. We have been we, once, we haven't have, we? we? We went to Zante many years ago and loved it but we would definitely love to go back mm. wouldn't we yeah i did that i did enjoy that it's mm. really nice so the sea and just it's really crystal crystal clear water it's mm. really nice beautiful so yeah definitely would love to go to greece again so somebody said would you ever go to new york with the whole family no no definitely not and that was the thing when you went with the girls didn't you yeah and uh, you said oh we should all go and i said nah it'd just be chaos because i think when we've been to London a few times with the family, it has been it's been very hard work, and I just think you, you're not going to enjoy it the same. Are you looking around all these things when you've got little little people? You know, mm. like what interests us isn't going to interest them. You know, going up these buildings and looking at the views and things, they're going to think, "Oh, this is boring, isn't it?" Well, they but just for want me, to play. I think I would because I think from like I think Oscar and Casper would definitely love New York. They would York. enjoy it, yeah. Or, but I'm not so sure about Hallie, Phoebe, and then the, the no, younger no, ones. They wouldn't. Maybe not so much, but I would still love to take them because I think it's such an amazing place. So, what are the most common misconceptions people have about your family? Our family, our big family. No, about our family, I think. Um, about your family. I think the, the probably the most one would be how do you spend time for all the children? Mm. Um, I think that goes back to how how do you cope with all the children. If somebody just said, yeah, there's 20 odd kids, deal with that, you'd struggle. Whereas we've adapted over the years and it just it just comes with that, doesn't it? Adapting mm. over the years of how we spread our time with all the kids. We know it's never so much one on one because they don't generally want that themselves. You know, there'll be two or three of them all sat with us and just doing, you know, a drawing or colouring or cooking, whatever we'll be doing, you know. They, it's never just the one-on-one -on -one no. that want to be on their own. It's always a few of them want to get involved with the same thing. And it's and no, if you're doing that, none of them ever say, oh, "No, I I just want to do this. It just want to be me." You never get that. They always they always just want to yeah, do it with other people. Don't I think because they're so used to being surrounded by brothers and sisters and things, it, they they always want them involved with whatever they're doing anyway. Um, what else would there be? And I think it's just that you know, oh, you don't. Possibly, you can't possibly pay for all of those children. I think that people don't kind of realise that we don't just have the bakery, we have like, obviously we have YouTube and um, the TV programme and there's there's all different kind of, you know, it's not yeah. just one income, is there? No, there's different incomes. So I think so we, people yeah. do have that misconception about us, but yeah, uh, apart from that, I think it's just that, isn't it? That's all I can think of, yeah. I think. So... Right. Should we get on to the question that has been the most asked question ever? Like, honestly, on every single thing that I've got on here is asking this same question. So, it is, have you found a house? Well. Well, yes. <laughs> we have. We, we have, have found a house. We have. We've had uh, an offer accepted on a house that we've absolutely loved. Yeah. It's just so perfect for us. It's got... It's, it's the house that we've sort of been dreaming of for yeah. years and years, isn't it? It's, you know, it's got a nice big garden all around it. Uh, plenty of, I wouldn't say plenty of lamb, but there's, there's enough lamb for what we want. Yeah. Um, and it's just, 
it's a house where also we can put our own stamp on it. There's there's work there that it's a it's a lovely house and it's all done but beautifully. But it does need work doing to it though. Doesn't it, it? Yeah, it need, no, it's a beautiful house. It doesn't need work doing, but for, for us for it to work for us, it does it need. It does need work. Yeah. yeah. So there's a little bit of uh, converting the garage and maybe a kitchen extension and things like that. So that's that's where we're at with that. But yes, we have. So that's all currently going through at the minute. And I can't even anyone that is going through the process of buying a house at the minute. The stress. I feel your pain. The stress has been on another level. You just feel like people say, you know, like moving house, buying a house is like one of the most stressful things that you'll ever do. We've not done that in like 19 years and... Forgot all about it, haven't we? So stressful. Mm. But anyway, we're kind of at the point where, you know, hopefully everything will go through smoothly and it'll all be fine. But I'm just... But yeah, you just never know. Just Something never could know, go wrong, yeah. along, along the way. So, but. we have got somewhere. We have found somewhere. It's absolutely perfect. And we're just really hoping and praying that everything goes through okay. But mm. yeah. So we're very excited to share that with you guys over the like, coming months, hopefully. It should all go through smoothly. But yeah, very exciting times. And we, we, how long have we been like looking for something like land? Well, like, we've been looking for, year? yeah. I was thinking over at least 18 months, at least. You're getting on towards maybe two years, in mm. fact, looking for land. Because I was more, oh, oh, let's build something, yeah. let's build something. And you were, well, yeah, okay, that's mm. all right. But I would rather, you would, You'd rather buy something yeah. and just move straight in, which, yeah. which is this is good, which is what we've ended up doing anyway. But um, it just it was getting a bit of well, I tell you what happened. I would be looking on the internet, you know, every couple of times a week. I'd look see if there's a new come along. And he's like, the same old stuff. Don't like that one. I've seen that one. That's been there forever. And then this one popped up. I thought, oh, this is new. And it had been on uh, eight days. I think it'd been on the market for. So next morning, straight on Thursday agents, can we, you know, possibly plan a viewing, which we did, and yeah, absolutely loved it. Yeah, and we took the kids around it the other week, and they absolutely mm. loved it as well. So we just feel like it's perfect. And watching them run around like all of the land and what it was just, it, mm. it's, it's really good. So. In fact, yeah, the, the owner of the house there, he said to me, he said, just look at that. He said, they're just loving it, aren't they? All playing out, mm. enjoying the garden and what have you. So, yeah. yeah, very Fingers exciting crossed. times ahead. Fingers so hopefully crossed. summer will be full of um, crazy house moving, mm. and um, yeah, just very excited. But yeah, we will keep you updated. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this Q and A. We've really enjoyed. Um, we always enjoy these Q and A's. Yeah. We find them really good. But yeah, hope you've enjoyed it. And we're going to go make a cup of tea, aren't we? We're going to sit down and watch a bit of TV, but yeah. Okay guys, bye for now. Bye now.